it's Kristen. So I have a haul for you guys today. This is not a small haul by any means. It just seems like a lot of things happen at one time. Sephora does 15%, Ulta does 20%, Hold Look has a bunch of things that I ordered a while ago that finally came in. Just lots of stuff going on. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys. I will probably have another one because as you're watching this, I think I'm shopping. <laughs> I'm pre-recording this before I head to Pennsylvania. So, all right, so we are going to go ahead and get right into it. The first things I have to show you are the balm items that I purchased on Holt Look. If you're not familiar with what Holt Look is, it's a flash sale site. And what that means is that they put up products on there for a period of time for sometimes half the price, sometimes 75% of the price, whatever, of what it is normally. Spit it out, game. And... I generally don't purchase the balm products unless they're on that site because they always have the balm on Outlook. And it's free to sign up. I mean, it's just a, you get a daily email. It's not like you're getting 40 emails a day. Sometimes you get two, but anyway. So I purchased five of the in stain blushes and I'm going to show you these. They, they do stain, which is why I'm not going to swatch them, but I'll do a blush discussion on them in the future. So the first one is, um, what is the name of this? Pinstripe. It's like that. This one, and normally you guys know, I feel like it's pointless to show you something without a swatch. I just can't be stained up today. Argyle. Because I'm going to work after this. This one is a really bright coral. And it's in, actually I have it upside down, um, Toil. This one is Hound's Tooth. And then this one is Lace. So let me know if you guys want a blush discussion on these ones, and I will do that for you for certain. Uh, the other thing I got, I'm not going to open it because it's smashed to smithereens, and I will say this about Holt Looks customer service. I called them, and he was like, no problem, we'll credit your account. I said, well, where do you want me to send it? He said, to the garbage. Because <laughs> I assumed they would want it back, but I may try to repress it. I'm not sure. At any rate, I bought the Cindy Luminizer because I really enjoy the Mary, whoops, the Mary Luminizer, and that's but at any rate. Okay, so then the other thing that I got to do a Four Looks One palette with is the Balm Voyage. Normally, I do not appreciate when they put cream and powders in the same palette, but this brilliant little thing, first of all, I literally opened these and went, <sighs> I just, I don't know, I really like the colors. They're very colorful. It'll be a lot of fun to do Four Looks with One palette with this. And then the cream products are down here, but they're protected. So I made an exception. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited to play with that one. I, I can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is um, I pr on Derm Store, one of my subscribers, her name is Yvonne, so thank you again, Yvonne. She shot me an email to say, hey, did you know that Derm Store has 20% off and there's Rouge Bunny Rouge products on there? And I have one blush from Rouge Bunny Rouge and I always had enjoyed it, but you know, because of the shipping costs and that kind of thing, I just hadn't ordered any more. Um, at any rate, Derm Store had, it was even free shipping, 20% off, so I picked up two blushes. The first one, and I'll swatch this one for you, is in Habernera. Build it up a little bit there for you. That's Habernera. And I have so much enjoyed the blush. I have the one in Starina, um, and it's just, I really have enjoyed that one so much that I thought... I probably need to check out a few more. This one is in Orpheline. I'll have them listed below for you, of course. And this is a really pretty bright coral. Yeah, that's so pretty. And then I have three of their eyeshadow singles that I bought like in a little in a, a little trio kit, but this is the one that so many people talk about. I just felt like I really wanted to get it, and it's the single in Obsidian Catbird. I could only buy it in pan form. Good gracious! All right, it took me a minute to get it out of there. Holy moly! This, by the way, I've swatched a couple of times. I kept making. I got this at work, and I made people look at it because I was so excited about it. <laughs> so pretty! You can tell that I've swatched it a couple of times. Looks like that. You know, it, and it, I think it just depends on what you pair with it, whether it looks khaki or antiqued gold or, ugh, it's just so pretty. I know why people like it. 
So we'll see how it looks on my eyes. I do have some drugstore things to show you, so I will show you a couple of these. I was walking at Walgreens by the clearance area, and I never saw the Maybelline Nude Collection appear, like ever. And then all of a sudden, I saw the quads sitting there, and a couple of the color tattoos, and crazy. So I did get the one in taupe tees, and then I also got the one in take it off. Also there, and I don't know if this was limited edition or not, but it looked like an interesting color. It's a kind of a pink that pulled a little more lavender. And this is a Revon Color Burst in Bejeweled. It's just kind of a milky pink, but there's really some lavender. I'm not, you're not going to be able to see that probably. I feel like there's some lavender in there. So that is that. Um, and then, oh, the color tattoos. I forgot to show you guys those. That I got is a nude compliment and pure nude so we'll see they these look pretty similar to some of the other ones it was one of those moments that I was like oh I need to have those and I didn't really okay it was at Walmart a little while back I picked up a new um, lash adhesive the Revlon I like the Revlon a lot this one is clear versus the other one so we'll see and then a couple pairs of lashes just to try out and as you guys know I'm kind of into the lashes lately the number 53 is from Salon Perfect and then the Demi Wispies from Salon Perfect and these I found at Walgreens I think these are so cool I picked up a pair to send to a friend as well these are the um, Andrea or Aunt Andrea I'm not sure which number 12 they have a thicker band so I'm not sure how that's going to function but look at the outer corner see they kind of are built up a little bit on the outer corner so we'll see. I'm curious about that. Okay, so yesterday, well, yesterday for me, but not so much for you guys. This is going up like a week later. Anyway, went to Ulta with my 20% off coupon and picked up just a couple of things. I've really been enjoying a sample size that I had of the Bilage Fiber Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. So this is the conditioner. This is shampoo. I just picked up regular sizes of those. And this just looked curious to me. I don't know. It's called the Perfect Pony Volume and Lift. And I don't have like the thickest hair known to man. So I don't know. It was like $5. And then the only other thing that I got was two more Jane eyeshadows. I have four that I've really enjoyed. They didn't have the one that in Arcadia that I was looking for. But they did have this which is in Truffle. And that's a shimmer. Just like that. It's my first swatch of it. Mm, that's gorgeous. I knew it would be. <laughs> and then this one is in Earth. Also very pretty. And Earth is a uh, shimmer as well. Doesn't have a ton of doesn't have as much sheen to it as the other does. Very pretty. That was all that I got. There. So lastly, we have the Sephora VIB products. I placed an order online, and then when Bob and I had gone to, um, when we had gone shopping, I picked up a few more things. What's a girl to do? So the first thing that I ordered online was another one of the Hourglass blushes in Mood Exposure. I liked the other ones so much that I wanted to grab this one. I feel, sometimes I hate swatching things that I know you guys are like, yes, we know what it looks like. We've seen it a million times. Look, I wiped those off and they're still there. So that is that. <laughs> and then I didn't know about this until, um, I can't remember, her, her YouTube name is Girl 8 mentioned this quad to me. And it's from Guerlain and it's, comes in a fun little pouch, of course. This is what the packaging looks like. And it's in Les Fumes. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? Answer me. I don't know. It's just, there's just something about it. There's my first swatches of it. And there are the swatches. Not very well done because that's my left hand. But So that's fun. I think I might take that on my trip. And... I ordered two Bite lipsticks, finally. I bit the bullet. And the first one that I have here is in Lilac, and this is a VIB Rouge exclusive color. I really don't know. I, had, I, I don't know how that happened. And it's very bright. I don't know really what I was thinking, but 
looks like that. I have been doing much better in branching out, let me tell you. And then the other one is what I have on my lips today, and that is in Fig. Just your very kind of wearable pink color for every day. And this had been in my basket since I did my Topetastic liner, Topic Tuesday. Eyeliner, a bunch of you had suggested this, uh, Clinique Quick Liner in, for, wait, Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. And this is in Truffle, Intense Truffle, number 10. And it's a twist up, which I like. And it's a gorgeous taupe right there. So I will report back on that as well. And then the last thing that I ordered online was this. I've enjoyed a couple of the products that I've tried from Living Proof, including the Perfect Hair Day. So I ordered this trial size of the full volume and body boosting travel kit. It has a thickening cream, shampoo, conditioner, and then I think there's a trial size of something else, like a sample size of something else in there. So I ordered, so those are the products that I ordered online. And then when we went yesterday, I got a few more items. Nothing too crazy. I did get the little bag. I was pretty excited about it. I was kind of bummed I didn't get it in the in my online order. I don't know why I was bummed about that, but I was. I ordered this. I've heard so much about Glam Glow and I haven't tried any of them, so I ordered, no, the, did not order. I bought the Hydrating Mask and I got a NARS Pro Prime. I decided to make that my full size purchase and if I don't like it, then I will take it back and exchange it for something else. And I have two lip products and then another, uh, a Quint. So I got the, at the checkout they have these double-ended bite, of course I opened up the wrong end, double-ended bite lip products. I feel like I'm full on jumping on the bandwagon here. So this one has leche and musk as I drop it. These are so baby cute but I'm scared to swatch them. They don't look a ton different, leche and musk. But I think this is a great one to just have in my desk or in my purse or something. And then so that I opened the wrong end again. And then I ordered, I got grabbed the other one that's a little bit brighter. And the, a little bit, it's full on brighter. This one has Palomino. Just that one right there. Very pretty. Bright, but I'm trying you guys, I'm trying. And then this one is Violet. Let's see, I wonder how much that is like the other one. It's a lot like lilac, I gotta say. That's lilac and then that's violet. The last item that I purchased is a Dior Quint and it's in grayish. I've heard so much about this lately from Natalie, from Flower Bomb, from Miss Kristen321. Um, well, I gotta say I don't like that so much. One of them looks like it's popping up, but at any rate. <laughs> Those are the colors. Let me see if I can push that down. So those are the swatches of the five colors. We'll see. I gotta say I'm not super impressed with the swatches. I feel like it's swatched better in store. But we shall see. I know that, like I said, a lot of people that I love and respect love it. And then I one other thing I wanted to mention, I forgot this. I ordered on um, QVC this palette from Bare Minerals in The Affair to Remember. I think I've shown that wearing this in a video already, but so I did get that, and I was waiting to, I was wanting to do this haul when this came, but still not here, so I'm just going to mention it quickly. I did order the new Bare Minerals liquid foundation that comes with the little brush for the reservoir, so um, I'll make mention of that at some point when it, you know, when it comes in, and I'm sure that I'll have a few things to haul from the shopping trip, from the meetup that I'm doing in Pittsburgh, which actually is as you're watching it today. <laughs> happening probably right now because these usually go live right at any rate I'm sure I'll have some things and maybe I'll stick it in at that point but so that's what I have to show you I know it was a long one I apologize in advance no I'm apologizing after the fact <laughs> if you aren't interested in seeing what's on my face thank you so much for watching and if you are I'll run it down very quickly for I have the Chanel Perfection Lumiere and Chanel Pro Lumiere combined on my face which I'm not loving I gotta tell you I don't I'm not sure I'm going to be working through those I'm just not loving either one for some reason, just not working with my skin. Anyway, for blush, I have the MAC In Dimension at dusk. And, oh, I forgot to show this. I did get this 
brush. I applied it with this brush. That's why it was set to the side, this Eco Tools. It's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but so I hauled that too. <laughs> and I have the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten over the top of the powder. And then I used this Gosh Quad that I love so much. I haven't used it in a really long time. 22 Driftwood. I like it. It's the new kind of packaging. It's flat. This was a gift to me, but I think that you can get these now. Anyway, the interesting part of the eye look, I'm not sure that you can see it or not, is I used a Kat Von D um, a liner in, is this really called Eyegasm? I think that it is. It's green. There you go, and I have, as I said, fig on my lips. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!